welcome to my dorm room tour. So I live on level five in Perth Hall at Western University in Ontario. Um, this floor is all FIMS, which is a media program that we're all in. I live in the middle of the hallway. At that end, to my left, there is a bunch of rooms. And then at the very end where there's a window, there's a study room. And then at that end, there is a lounge, which uh, has a TV and some couches and stuff, which is nice. So there's about 45 people that live on this floor. And we live smack in the middle, which is nice. So there's four girls that live in this room. Me and my roommate, which is obviously Clarissa and Maria, um, one of my floor mates, which is one of my really good friends, actually created this sign for us, which I love. She gave us little top hats, we gave her some selfies. Very uh, cute representation of us. Um, and then we have Anna and her roommate, actually Florence, uh, her name tag got ripped off as well as mine. So we just have Maria and Anna's there. So yeah, she's from China, fun fact, and in the MIT program. So it's a fairly new residence. It's called a hybrid style. Um, has one washroom for four of us to share, which can be difficult at times, but it's better than having to share with your whole floor, which can be co-ed sometimes. So let's go into it. Oh, by the way, we have really cute decorations of like all movies and media related things, which are cool. Our neighbors across the hall are uh, Noah, Gavin, Zach, Kush. So entering the room. Wow, yeah, sometimes this doesn't work. Super squeaky door. <laughs> so we have a light here to turn on for the common area. We have two garbages, recycling, and like just garbage and compost. Some of my running shoes from flag football. I leave them there because they can get quite dirty and gross out in the field. Um, so there's two rooms, 513A, 513B. So in this room, the two Chinese um, roommates live together, Anna and Florence. And then in that room is Maria and myself. So here is the, I don't know what this is, but we don't have a key to go inside. It's, I guess, to switch the heating and stuff. Um, but this is the storage room, which is quite spacious. Um, right now I just have a bunch of my laundry hanging. Um, and since our roommates, our sweet mates are from China, they have a ton of luggage, as you can tell, um, all around. So yeah, it is pretty spacious, holds a lot, but I absolutely love that because, um, it's just nice to have extra space, obviously. So then we have this little common area here. We have a bunch of shelves that we share, some drawers, cabinet space. Um, I kind of just took over the first top two shelves. Totally okay with sharing, but no one else seemed to need to put their stuff anywhere, but they're on the bottom shelf. So that's nice. And then we just have a tea maker, coffee maker, water bottles. Under the sink, we have uh, some garbage bags. Toilet paper for breeze, just typical stuff. Put the light on and get ready with nice lighting here, which is super nice. And then we share a bathroom, like I said. So we go in here and there's some more storage space. Then on the back, I put up some hooks. We have um, Maria and I's shower caps, which are actually the exact same. We came to school not knowing that we even had the same ones, which is so funny. Um, we have some loofahs. Obviously, you can tell mine's a Tiffany blue one because that's what I've decorated my room as. Some face cloths and one shower to share. Um, but it's not bad. Like The space it has to put all the bottles uh, is pretty nice. Um, yeah, it's kept in good condition. No mold or anything like that. We use a... Um, card as like a swipe key and here's how it looks let's put on the lights all right so two sides of the room it's a hybrid style residence um, dorm room so it is a L shape and I got assigned the right side and Maria got assigned the left side so if one of us came early in on moving day and just tried to claim a side it wouldn't really work because they already assign you sides and you have to stick by that. It's nice, the space we have in the middle here, it does never really get too crowded. You can fit an air mattress up here when, you know, you have people up. When you close the door, there is, there's me, a mirror and there is two hooks on each side. This side is Maria's and this side is mine. I just have a bunch of necklaces, um, like costume jewelry type thing and my Longchamp bag, which is my everyday bag I use. 
My poster is from the poster sale that they have at Western uh, every year. I think it was around $10. I got it mainly because of the positive quotes. Um, you know, it helps me start my day, keeps me in a positive mood, and the color scheme obviously goes with my bedding pillows. Um, little wall decor right there so um, yeah as you can tell it's Tiffany blue and black and white and then I have pictures all along the wall in a straight line well I mean they're tilted back and forth but I mean there's like this little post underneath and I just line them all up on that all around the room um, I actually got that idea from Denise which is a girl who lives on my floor um, just to kind of keep them all together so Beside the door here, when you first enter, um, I have two sets of drawers. So they are both threes, um, and they're from Walmart. So I have, you know, my workout clothes, underwear, socks, pajamas, more tops. And then I have this laundry hamper, which is from Ikea. It's white, of course. And then I have my shoes that, you know, I usually wear most, and I slip on and wear them out. So my workout shoes and just my um, leather vans, and then some socks right there. My bedding is white with this like grayish, simple, simple design. And it's actually reversible because on the other side it's gray with white design. So it's kind of nice how you can intertwine that. That is from HomeSense. And these two small pillows right here are also both from HomeSense. So they came with the comforter. I don't particularly love them, but I mean, they just add some more to my room. So I just put them in there. The pillow that I sleep on also has this pillow cover which matches, it's also reversible. Um, so I have the white with the gray side, the gray detailing right now. That's also from HomeSense I think I said. And then I have these two pillows here which are both square pillows. I can't remember the exact dimensions, um, I just know that they are both from Society6. And I really liked the kind of mandala pattern and the like sky pattern for that. Um, I got them on sale as well, so I'll try to link them down below. I'm pretty sure they still have them on the website. They're pretty good deals and they go with my room, so I got those. And then I have a like shoulder back pillow that's so nice for just like leaning against while looking over notes before bed or um, just watching some Netflix. It's also in the Tiffany blue color and that's from Target. This Western calendar, which I don't use except for <laughs> writing Denise and Maria's birthday on, this they gave us on um, the first week of school, so I just decided to put that up. Beside it, I have a Be Extraordinary like wall decor piece. It actually came with stuff on the back to stick on, so that was really nice. And I'm pretty sure this was from... Bed Bath & Beyond, if I'm not mistaken. Um, not sure if they have any more because like I said, I got it back in like August or July. Then I have my speaker, which is from Best Buy. Um, this I either got from HomeSense or Beauclair Home. Pretty sure I got that from Beauclair Home. I think I got this from HomeSense. Uh, doesn't say, but I think that's from HomeSense. These wooden tree bark coasters are also from Beauclair Home. Um, the salt lamp is from Bed Bath & Beyond, and it's actually a blue light. You can change the light inside, or maybe it's white right now. Oh, okay, well, it's totally orange looking, but you can put a blue light in it, and I thought that would match my decor the best. My room, and Maria's room, came with the nightstand and the desk, and obviously the bed. So everything else we would have brought ourselves. So in the drawers, the first drawer, I just have um, a ton of receipts and junk. Um, my eye drops, hand cream, phone case boxes, playing cards, just a bunch of junk. Um, but the bottom one's quite deep, so I carry all my, well not carry, store all my face cloths in here, extra bed sheets, um, like kitchen towels, stuff like that. And then in between my desk and my nightstand, I have a bunch of reusable bags, so um, yeah, sometimes I use them for the gym or other stuff. I have a laundry bag there I use to take down to level two to do my laundry. Now, under the bed, we actually have quite a bit of room. I know a lot of girls like to get um, bed stands or what are these called? Bed holders. I don't really know. They just, they elevate the bed so you have more room underneath to store stuff. But basically, the underneath of my bed is the biggest storage compartment I have. So I have a bunch of like notebooks and stuff. I have my lighting set for my camera. I have flat shoes, a bunch of plastic bags. Um, I have a bunch of extra stuff just in case I run out. Makeup remover, eye uh, cotton pads, like just a ton of stuff tied to go. So take advantage of underneath your bed because you will have 
a lot of stuff you'll need to store more than you think at least for a girl um, beside my bed I didn't even say I have this flat thing that I put my laptop on when I'm watching shows or doing work um, it reminds me of from uh, Mario Kart because he's a little mushroom guy in these colors um, and then I have an extension bar or not an extension bar like a multiple outlet bar um, because I have multiple things I need to plug in like my lamp my speaker my charger computer charger sometimes so um, I definitely recommend having a bunch of these for school too because I also have one beside my desk over there for my laptop and stuff taking you to my desk I have all my lip products up here I have a few perfumes don't bring all of them from home just bring your favorites um, a mirror I'm pretty sure this one's from home sense um, I brought a lot of nail polish uh, I just like variety so I have like some dark colors and some light colors and sometimes Maria borrows some too so it's a fun little thing to do the basket is from Dollarama I think then I just have some more stuff eye makeup remover sunscreen hole puncher tissues band-aids extra plastic bottles and stuff um, come in handy napkins um, our school mascot is a Mustang horse so I have a horse toothpick holder stapler little notepad um, this little Tiffany blue thing here is from HomeSense so it actually holds a bunch of my stationary stuff so extra staples um, post-it notes reinforcements notebooks uh, just everything um, on my wall beside here I have my wall the little extra space of wall I have between my window and my desk I put a couple 3m hooks up and I put my hats so they don't get squished in my closet and then I put like my nicer handbags which I also don't want getting squished and gross and kind of you know not taking care of in my closet so I have my Marc Jacobs and my Michael Kors one back on my desk I have a makeup organizer thing this is from Walmart again I don't recommend taking a huge one to school just because of space issues but I just have you know my face makeup in the first drawer eye makeup in the second Ugh bunch of palettes in the last one and then on top I have my mugs um, it's nice to make some coffee sometimes in my room so I have one extra mug there this one's from Urban Outfitters the one with the C is from Anthropology, and the 2016 one my mom got for my high school graduation when I was in grade 12 it carries all of my lip products um, this is just a little old chocolate box to keep all my hair ties in q-tips stuff like that um, my Disney mug I got from Disney holding my eye brushes, um, a Voss from Dollarama which I decorated with glitter to put my eye brushes in and then on my desk I just have my phone, a to-do list, um, my swipe card. What I like about this desk it has a pulled out keyboard type thing so you can put your keyboard there and I like the level my wrists are at. Uh, then I use this old magazine of Kylie and Kendall as my mouse pad so that's nice. And then I have this little mesh compartment thing holding um, a bunch of stuff. That's from Ikea, so the top just has a bunch of scrap paper. Then I have some eyelashes, hair clips, toothbrushes, Purell, uh, medical tape, just a bunch of randomness. More randomness, I have a bunch of gum. I have more 3M hooks. Uh, what else do I have? Tape, tissues. And then the last drawer actually wouldn't hold up. It kept falling out. So I just used this little thing to hold um, my makeup bags for travel and my makeup brush roll there. And I think this tin is from Dollarama as well. This tin here, maybe it's Solutions. I keep forgetting. I keep like mixing them up. Um, but basically, I just labeled it and it says electronics and cords and cables. And this just holds, you know, my DSLR camera, charging cords, aux cords. A bunch of stuff like that, SD cards, and then I have my gym bag on top from Lululemon. I forgot to say the rest of my desk, so I have this monitor here connected to my laptop, so when I edit and do homework, it actually, um, you know, doesn't really affect my eyes. It's nicer, it's easier on them, it makes it easier to stay on a computer for longer. So I have my computer connected um, with a bunch of cords right now. Uh, the Ethernet cable, which you should bring to university of 100%. Um, cord for my printer, cord for the monitor, aux cord for connected to my camera, my earphones, and then back here I just have a feminine pack of stuff, um, toilet paper roll, uh, a couple hard drives I haven't opened yet, uh, my schedule, a picture of me and my friend McKenna, 
um, that I have two cup holders from Boucler Home, I believe, and they're both holding some school supplies, um, like pencils, pens, stuff like that, scissors. So then going to beside my desk, I have my printer set up, a garbage, some popcorn, almond milk, tissue box, um, lunch bag for the days I have a lot of classes and I need to pack food, that's what I bring. Coffee filters, there's not actual cheese in there, that's actually um, coffee grinds, more coffee grinds, mystery noodles, um, dryer sheets, ice pack, more coffee, <laughs> and my beautiful view out to the other buildings. It's so pretty during fall, seeing the like trees change colors and then you see them um, out there, you see the sunset, so pretty. Over here, I have my mini fridge, which I don't remember where my parents got from, but um, it's white, and inside I only have peanut butter currently because, oh, and my water bottle. And then on top, I just have a bunch of stuff. These are cookies, actually. Banana, some random other food. Um, yeah, just some food, so I, I don't get hungry or anything. And my chair is from Ikea. It's really squeaky, though. It makes a lot of, hold on, can't even hear it now, but usually it's really squeaky and makes a lot of noise. So this is Maria's side of the room. We both kind of established that hers is a little smaller in the sense of how much space she gets. Um, I kind of have more like corner spaces, I would say, and she doesn't, but since she's more minimalistic and doesn't have as much stuff, um, this kind of worked out perfectly um, on my side, I guess. So yeah, her room is just, or her side of the room is just more simplistic so this is a poster she got from the poster sale and then she decked it out with these wings and these mickey mouse hands and the leaf the ears just the little planets like it's just so creative she just got so funky with it i love it uh wayne's world lamp garbage her fridge printer um hair curler uh some other stuff some storage she has on both sides bunch of poems she has up on her wall, a bunch of old books. She has a Pulp Fiction poster, this random wolf, I don't even know, hanging on her wall, which is so cute. Her sister brought her a bunch of like weird quirky gifts from the thrift shop and we were dying of laughter. Like we have this wolf, we have like this postcard of random people or postcards, should I say. Um, this random like, kind of reminds me of Marie Antoinette and a red velvet frame. <laughs> and then this like weird guy with like a green, like what is this, like a turban or something? I don't even know, so, so cute. She painted like a snowman thing, anyway. Um, she has one of her 3M hooks hung up and then we get to our closets. So, we both have the same setup and room for closet space. We have one, two, three, four, five, six shelves. And then you actually can, push the doors, they're sliding doors. Um, I'm not gonna open hers because that's just her own private stuff. Uh, but I have my backpack here, which is from Herschel. And up there above my closet, I have a C decor piece, which is from Home Sense, I believe. So on the top shelf, I have all my t-shirts. I have all my sweatpants. Second shelf, I have um, some stuff that should be actually in my purse right now. My biggest wallet I have from Michael Kors, my house keys and um, a perfume, I have my, or body spray, I have a bunch of like sweaters, um, these are leggings in like tighter pants, have a bunch more crew necks and hoodies and cardigans which I'm in love with, um, something from the gift shop, I have jeans, pants, skirts, and then you go down another shelf, there's just some more randomness, so some Halloween stuff, accessories like bunny ears and stuff in there, all my sunglasses, a little coin bag, um, some bubble wrap, and then down here I have my like underwear and bras. And then you push this back over, and you have the rest of my clothes. So I have my long, not my long jackets, just my jackets in general, my longer sleeves, and then everything's pretty much color coordinated, short sleeves, tank tops, going out tops, dresses, um, and all white hangers, of course. I have my towels, another 3M hook, which holds my smaller handbags, and then I have this little holder I got from Solutions, I believe. Just something small to hold my jewelry. I didn't need a huge jewelry chest. Um, you know, holds my rings, statement stuff. Um, have all my scarves, which is very messy. Um, and then like my, uh, what's that called? An iron, which I've never opened, a Victoria's Secret purchase. 
and some gloves and head wraps because it gets very, very cold in Canada. Oh, and some watches, which I don't really wear too often, but I brought them with me anyway. So then you just close that and it's all closed so that is the final room tour or dorm room tour i hope you guys enjoyed um if you have any questions about it just leave them down below and i'll try to get back to you um but yeah overall i'm pretty satisfied with where i live i find that the space is great nothing gets crowded i don't feel like not comfortable or it's not homey it definitely did take me a little while to get comfortable in it just because um you know it's different than home but i made it my my like safe space and I love my roommate she's like family now so it's just a very comforting living situation and um, let me say I took two cars full up of stuff to pack this room with and I did not take anything back home everything could fit so that just goes to show how much space this exact hall has I know some other residents won't have as much space um, so I'm pretty happy with it so I will see all of you guys in my next video thanks for watching